Hello friends, my name is Taufik and you are watching my channel Graphics Den. So in this video, I am going to talk about the clipping mask option or clipping mask tool in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. So clipping masks can be used in various ways. So let us see one by one. So using clipping mask tool, we can insert any image or anything in any shape. So let's say if I draw a circle using the circle shape or ellipse tool. So if I want to insert any image in this particular shape, I can simply place the image in front of it or over the layer. If you go into the layers, the image has to be above the shape. Then we can simply right click on the layer and choose create clipping mask option. So it will be only displayed in the shape area. So this is how we can create clipping mask. And if you want to release the clipping mask, we can simply again go to layer right click and release clipping mask. So it will be like before. Again, if I do right click or if you want to use the shortcut key, we can simply press alt key in PC or option key in Mac and go between the layers and simply press and hold alt or option key and left click. So it will do the same thing like this. And because this particular layer, the layers layer that we have clipped is separate. That's why we can change its position and we can resize the layer and we can transform any which way we want. Like we can rotate the layer. So it will be only displayed in the shape area. Again, let's say if I want to apply the clipping mask to text or if I want to insert any image in text, we can simply write down any text. So let's say and color doesn't matter. So I will write down this power and I will choose a bolder font. So this is already bold. So let's say so this is already bold. I will increase or rather decrease the letter spacing like this little bit more. So this looks good to me and I will increase the size. So I will choose a different font slightly bolder than this. So Poppins, which is a Google font. I think it is bolder. Yes. So again, I'm going to place the same image like this and do the same thing. Right click, create clipping mask. So the image will be appearing inside the letter because we have clipped it. We have clipped the top layer to the text layer. And we can again change its position, its size and rotation as we like, like this. So this is how we can use clipping mask in shape as well as in text. So I will show you one more example. So let's say I want to create a mockup. So I want to create a shirt mockup in this particular case, a t-shirt mockup. So first, select the area of the t-shirt using any selection tool that you feel comfortable with and now i am going to simply press ctrl j and if you are using mac then command j so this is now on a separate layer this particular area shirt area now i am going to press a floral design which i have already opened and i will increase the size so that it will cover the area of the shirt and using the same option clipping mask right click and create clipping mask so it will create a clipping mask around the shirt and if you want to make it more realistic simply change the blending option so so this is looking much more realistic so this is how we can use clipping mask tool in various ways and again uh, we can use it to create so many go very good or creative designs like double exposure and so on 
so in this particular video i have only show shown you the basics of clipping mask so do give it a go and that's it for this video if you find this video useful please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers